Hey folks, today I'm going to talk about my quest for the perfect portable soldering iron. Why do we need a soldering iron? Well, I have a lot of soldering jobs that require, you know, a long extension cord if I'm going to go with something like my Weller, which I love. This is a great soldering iron, but it's not always practical if I'm going to go out uh, into, the, into my car or into the backyard. Maybe I'm going to solder some outdoor lights or some fix a barbecue light. Maybe in the car I'm going to, uh, you know, fix some wiring. So I've always been after the, the perfect solution for uh, a portable soldering iron. And I think I found it. So what am I soldering? Well, I could be soldering anything from, you know, this gauge wire. Um, this is outdoor lights wiring. Um, I'm not sure the gauge, but it's fairly thick. You need a fair amount of power. Or it could be something as thin as you know, some bell wire like that. If I'm doing some automotive work, I might be doing that. So what have I been doing? Well, the best I've been able to find so far is this. And you'll look at this and you'll go, well, okay, but that requires plugging in, right? Well, what I found is a portable AC source. It's a... Lion Energy Cub Go. Um, and the way this works is um, it's got an AC output, as you can see. And you hit this button and you pull the trigger. Uh, this provides an AC source for this hot soldering iron. And this obviously has plenty of power to solder any wire. And it's sort of portable. It's not bad. I mean, you just have to take this and this. Uh, outside and do your soldering. So it's not bad, but it isn't perfect. It's it's awful big for small jobs. It's it could be, you know, is there anything more portable? Is is the question I've always been asking. So this is a TS100 smart soldering iron. And it looks like this, which is obviously very small and compact. And what it comes with is a nice USB-C cable. And it looked like the perfect solution. My thinking was, uh, combine this with my power bank, one of my power banks, and this is a pretty hefty power bank. I'm not exactly sure of the specs, but it's uh, always served me well when I go traveling. Uh, and I've got a very compact, much more portable you know, solution than, than this, the Cub battery pack. So it's on, you can see it's on. If I begin to heat it up, um, so you can see it's going, it goes up to about 500, 600 uh, Fahrenheit, which is more than enough to melt any solder. So I like to use this real thin stuff. Clean the tip. And you can see it's at 572. I love the menu. It's very clear, easy to read menu. You can see it just absolutely melts, no problem. Some thicker solder works just fine. And I could even go higher than uh, this. So you keep pushing the button. You have three temperature settings on this. It's on temperature 1, which is 572. Temperature 2, it jumps up to 626 almost immediately. I mean, this, this is so quick. And then temperature 3 uh, is 662 as well. But you can change all this. The settings are, are what's so impressive about this TS-101 soldering iron. It impresses me so much because it's so small. Now this and this... I can see taking out to the backyard. I can take it in the car. Um, I'm not dragging, you know, my hundred foot extension cord around. Uh, I'm not even dragging a big, you know, bulky battery pack and a big soldering iron like like this thing. Uh, very pleased with this soldering iron. I almost returned it because it wasn't didn't seem to be working quite well for me. Um, and what they say in the instructions really is you need a a PD battery pack, if you're going to go with the battery pack, 
It does come with a uh, AC cord, which I thought, well, that's kind of silly because it kind of it plugs into this round hole back here. Well, that's kind of silly because now all of a sudden I've got to be tethered to a wall outlet. That's not really portable, right? So I wanted the USB-C and what I wound up doing is upgrading the battery pack to... I picked up this. This is a PD power bank. And what that means is it's a smart power bank and it can figure out the optimal voltage to adjust to for any given device you might plug in. Um, so this works even better than this battery pack. Um, it's a bit heavier. It also has a QI inductive charger on the top, which is kind of nice. It's only about 30 bucks at, at Best Buy. And whether I go with this or this doesn't really matter. The point is I have an amazingly compact um, smart soldering iron. So it works a little better with this battery pack. Uh, T1 temperature, T2 temperature, T3 temperature, the temperature steps, sleep temperature, that's all adjustable. The sleep time in seconds, 180 seconds is the default. Uh, when it goes off, it's kind of nice because it sh still shows you the display and it shows you the tip cooling down. So you know when you can, you know, leave it on a surface. Um, so again, it, it comes with the AC power cord, which I'm not interested in. It comes with a very nice USB-C cable and a, a little resting pad, which I'm not showing here, um, and a small sponge. But, you know, for 80 bucks. I'm pleased, very pleased. Um, I think it's going to be a great addition to my electronics tools. Uh, something else I picked up, which I thought might be pretty handy, is uh, this thing called a flux pen. Uh, I have flux in a lot of different uh, forms. I have it in a little tub. I have it in a squirt little, a tiny drop bottle. But this looked interesting to me and, and way more portable. Um, and here it is, it's a, it's a pen, and you simply tap it on whatever you want flux on, and you get a nice little drop of flux. Uh, I'll leave links in the description below for both the flux pen and the TS-101. The TS-101 is an improvement over the TS-100. I'm not exactly sure what they improved. The TS-100 gets rave reviews on the internet. Um, so, um, the TS-101 is, is better. Oh, it's also, the firmware is updatable, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, my firmware came with the latest version, so I don't have to update it. But that's pretty cool, because that means as they improve the software in, inside this thing, you can, you can update it. So uh, anyway, that's all I have. This is Fix-It Rick. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.